recording. And I'm just going to mute myself in Discord, but if you guys have questions, I'll keep myself unmuted. Sounds good. Okay, so we got 30 minutes to do all of this. I don't even know if... So let's do synth. Oh, bro, it's... Okay, whatever. Um, super, because it has that. So open up that. Wait, is it already... Oh, bro, what? Okay, that's sick. Okay, so we do kick. Kick, drum and bass. I do that what what's it look like so wait one I need to expand this I hope wait can it hear me pattern yeah, okay, cool, it comes up, it comes up, six, six, six. Okay, so that, that. Okay, so we got that. Let's see, let's see if we have any drum bass, I can't spell, snares. I kind of like that one. That that's a pretty cool one. What's up, Sombra? Sombra. What is happening? Oh yeah. I'm what up? Pause. What up? What up? I'm a pause it because a buddy of mine he... just came to see what was going on. Yo. Okay, Sombra. I uh I just put a pause timer if you don't mind, guys, just so I can explain to Sombra. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no what, the, what the whole thing is. We just started, so you made it just in time, actually. Love it. So okay. I'll DM you a link to a website. That we are using to make a drum and bass song using a uh, template generated by the website. Oh, oh boy! So it, That's uh, cool. you use do you use FL Studios or Ableton? FL. FL. Okay, perfect. This works. So the only thing with this website, I just DM'd it to you on uh, uh, Discord. Okay. So you do have to register for it. It's really quick, and I think you just just have to confirm your email. But okay. uh, all you have to do is if you go to the main menu of that website by clicking the top left thing that says Jukebox, it'll have a drop down menu that says choose a genre and you choose drum and bass uh -huh. and you generate a random uh, random template for right. a drum and bass song. And it has like kicks, snares, hi-hats, uh, rides and all that stuff that you just have to add into it, into the template to uh -huh. make it whatever you want. But the template's designed oh. so that way you just have to plug and play with stuff. And focus on like mixing and sound design rather than the structure of everything. Oh, okay. That's so, cool. How much time do we have for it? Is it a so, normal timed thing? Uh, we're we're not really doing like a time challenge because all of us aren't really familiar with using templates all so much. So what I did is I okay. set a timer for thirty minutes, and I'm gonna check in with everyone just to see how everyone's doing. And I'll okay. we'll probably add another thirty minutes after it and do like a full hour. And after that, we'll check in again and see how everyone's feeling. And if we want to do another thirty minutes after that, we can do that. Because I feel like an hour, we're either at a point where we have something that we threw together, or we have something that we just need a little more time to do something with. You know? Okay. So that's what um, we're working on. If you're down to try that, that's what we're doing tonight. I mean, I'll certainly try it. I don't know if I can do it with like the time schedule tonight because <coughs> one, I have to go to bed soon, and two, I'm like. I was like, I'm in the middle of a conversation in the Left of Us server, but okay. I mean, but I will certainly like. I will, I will if you want to do the thirty minutes, the uh, first thirty minutes. Yeah. What was that? I'll just at the end of thirty minutes, I'll just come back in this chat. Okay. Yeah, that works. <coughs> Sounds yeah, good. I'll download this temp template. Awesome. This will be fun. I like this challenge idea. Yeah, no, it's from a guy that like I watch his YouTube channel. Uh, what's his name? A fine. Where is it? Uh, his name's like uh, Till and Talchef. 
Okay. And I think he, I he makes a lot of, like, interesting videos about, like, oh, this is how certain artists make their sounds. And he breaks their music down into, like, its basic okay. form. So that way it's easy to, like, understand how it became what it is. So. But that's how I found the website. And, yeah. Uh, we'll I know see that you... channel. Yeah, you pr- he, he has a pretty big channel on YouTube, so there's a chance you probably know him. He, uh... One thing he did kind of recently was he made scary monsters and nice sprites with only, like, medieval sounds. Oh, that's really interesting. (coughs) So he does, like, really weird stuff with that. Yeah. So, anyway, we're... I'm gonna gonna continue this timer. I hope you have a fantastic night. Uh, Feel free to come back after 30 minutes, though. Thank you, you too. Yeah, I, I will. Uh, thank you for putting this together on short notice as well. Yeah, no, Preston hit me up and he was like, I- I'm not, I'm a little too exhausted. If you want to continue it, you're more than welcome to. And uh, Libby and Kodiak were here. And I was like, oh, I'm down to do it if you guys are. So. Also, guys, I'm starting the timer up again. Big bet. Let's do it. See you soon. <clears throat> Bye. See you soon. So then we got a snare. I think you guys can hear me still. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys got all of that. Yeah, my mic's still working. Okay, word. Okay, so now we use snare, and we go to that, and we do that. Dude, I can't even think of how. I need to fucking find a... What else we got?
a ride? Yeah, ride, okay. I'm down, I'm down. Ride, ride or die, baby. I need a fucking... minutes left so far.
So it's an E. So E. No, it's. Wait, what is it? It's A. Okay. So A. A A. So it's A C E. A C E. G. And move the up one. I gotta say, this is challenging, but fun. Yeah, it is a fascinating kind of way of doing it. High strength. Okay, this is why, this is why certain people's songs all have the same song for me. I think so. Yeah, I really like it. Find a template you like and just stick with it. Let's try this. So I get
Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. I don't know about you guys, but I'm like not that far because I'm just, I'm just having fun with it. I'm like, I'm literally at the 22 second marker in my, or I guess 30 seconds in only. Hey, good for you, man. I made about 35. Let's get it. Let's go. (laughs) That's interesting. I took, so I don't know how, I I just want to talk about how we approach this real quick before we get into it. I'm I'm, I'm down. I'm down to like Um, talk about it first. So I'm really curious if you guys did this the same way I did or not, but I basically started at the top and I was just like, all right, I'm going to start filling things in and just dropping in what's functionally a loop on this, you know, kick track. The kick is a MIDI. So I wrote in a little MIDI loop for the kick, you know, put a little sampler on there, a little kick, boom, kick channel. My goal was to try and get something into every channel. Okay. And I didn't quite get there, but um, I think I missed three. Okay. Out of my total, like twenty. So like, I ended so up getting you, a lot. You worked on putting the samples more... in first, it sounds like, and then worked about what that sounded like after. Yeah. So like, I just started with my my drums, and then I went into like, okay, I need a melody, so I need to set up a chord progression, and then I saw. Mine had alternating colors, so I was like, okay, so let's do like an A and a B, and then let's just make that the template for the rest of the song, essentially. So I'm just, I I have like up to a minute into the two minute, 10 second area, but it's like really incomplete towards the end. Okay. How did you guys? That's a pretty good plan, though. I mean, I don't know. I I got weirded out when I first looked at it because, like, (laughs) I do mine the exact I and this is the thing like when when Scott Toddy sent me stems or sent me our collab like I'm like people put their kicks on top like my kicks at the bottom you know like I I put my like effects up top you know if we're looking top down oh like, for like yeah I see what you mean I, I was thinking just, about just how it's structured so yeah. like, I got a little thrown off when it was like kick at the top and I'm like that's fucking wrong so <laughs> So I, I didn't That's make it that far, Libby, but I'm, I'm kind of with you, man. Like, I was just trying to get, like, my basic, like, I've got the intro, but I've only got half the stuff from the intro in. So it's, like, technically my song, I guess, gets out into the two and a half minute mark, but, like, there's no bass, there's no, you know, it's, it's all, I'm just picking <laughs> samples at this point, you know? I feel that. Yeah. So for myself... I will say that it took me a little bit to like do the kicks because I'm so I'm not used to like putting kicks in a MIDI or not kicks but like percussion in general in MIDI I do everything like by itself and I automate it that way so uh, it was it was I had to you know work with that first I gotta take this I'll be right back guys you're good and then um for mine I had a pad first I had like two different uh I guess loops for a pad that it wanted that and so I started by just putting a single note down and seeing how it sounded. And I liked how it sounded. So I went to, you know, a harmonically safe note that works with the first note that I started with. And it sounded like it worked. And then I went to the plucks and I just put those two notes in and I filled in, like I moved around only as if I put that as like a certain chord. So for the two notes yeah, I yeah. used, I did D and A. So all my notes are either from a D chord or from an A chord. But but I, the only thing I haven't really done is I haven't really done any effects. I haven't really mixed anything. I've put things into my mixer and I set up a sidechain sort of, but I haven't even sidechained yet. <laughs> but yeah. like I, I, I made a cool trumpet. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. There you go. I'm going to have to leave in just a minute. I have to run up to work, which is literally like two minutes away. And okay. then I'll be right back. <laughs> do you want to go on key after they close? Uh, we can wait for you if you want. I was going to say, I really want to hear what you guys did in that time. So, like, if you guys just want to keep working on them or if you just want to chill, it'll only be, like, five, ten minutes. I'm, I mean, I'm if, if, chill. if you I came back, do you want to work on it for, like, another 30 minutes? Because I'm down to do another 30. Yeah. Yeah, so oh, yeah. 100%. Awesome. Hell, yeah. All right. I'll be right back. All right, bud. Drive Sick. Sick. I'm probably still just going to work on it a little more, honestly. Or actually, I'm going to get some more. No, I'll be I, right back. But I'm totally with you, Tito. I, I put most of my drums in in audio like I'll, I'll put my like my hi-hats in midi sometimes or yeah. like if i'm if you want to get fancy with it, yeah snare, 
But like, yeah, it was super weird to see it all. So I actually just went and said, fuck it. And I'm just using the template literally as a template. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just dragged my kicks down into audio. <laughs> so <laughs> That's so everything I've added so far has been audio. So even though I think, what do we start with? Like, I guess everyone starts with a different amount of tracks. I had, I think 20 tracks. Um, I went ahead and deleted the reverb automation one. I was like, why don't I fucking do that? Um, oh yeah, I haven't even done the automation. Like it has like a thing for for mine. It has like mute the drums, do an, a high pass filter, on high pass, and I'm like that would sound really cool. But like I want to figure out what it sounds like first before I do that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like mine has this. Uh, it's got like reverby shuffle, and I I just had to find like a perk loop that sounded good. Uh, mm-hmm. You know that works with the drum and bass kind of thing. But yeah, like all the things that were like, hey, do this here. I I just went ahead and deleted those and. Uh, <laughs> and uh but you're still like following the template though which is all that this is for like seven of my own tracks um or eight of my own tracks but yes they're all you know like that's the thing i've got synth chords to start it off with well i didn't really feel like writing chords so i just found this saruta sample that's yeah that kind of chord like and i just use that instead yeah but the color coding is cool i think it's a cool way to delineate like hey this is a b section um you know like this is a like you know even though we can't actually see any notes you know being able to like look at the kick and snare and be like okay they put a two in here so this is obviously going to be a different pattern so i mean it's pretty cool yeah i enjoy it i'm I'm enjoying this challenge it's it's different for sure yeah i mean i think it's making me realize that i need to create a template myself but i think my template is just going to be things like you know like all my groupings that I normally do, you know, drums, um, mid bass, uh, chords, box, FX, and uh, maybe like a granulator chain because I use granulator in almost every track now. Yeah, I feel that. I use um, portal in almost everything. <laughs> yeah, I think Same just thing. like having that like starting point. So it's like, oh, I don't like if I add a kick drum, I don't have to then organize my track post, you know, like it's already yeah. organized. It's just one of those things. It's like organizing your samples. You're oh like, my god, yeah. Do I really have to do this? <laughs> well, like, dude, for me, for samples, I use, I'm pretty sure it's available for Ableton as well. It's called ADS Arm Sample Manager. You just tell it what folders to look at that you have all your samples in, even if you just dump it and it sorts it by, you know, what sample it actually is. And it can detect, like, the key, the pitch, the BPM if it's a loop, and, like, oh the gosh, different things dude. that it's categorized as so like that's can, crazy yeah definitely because i helpful. feel like that's one thing that like i dislike about certain sample packs that i have um like some of them like dmvu sample pack bro he puts bpm he puts like key he puts everything next to it yeah um but then i've got like the subtronic sample pack and like half of his it'll just be like you know weird sound weird, weird chord loop and you're just like what fucking key is it man like yeah <laughs> I thought he put he, I thought he put keys on most of his stuff. I I didn't see anything that he didn't put a key on. I don't except know. For maybe I, one, but I might be thinking of someone else. Honestly, that was just the first name that came to mind. It's just uh, I know that there's certain things that I look at and I'm just like, okay, this is sample one, you know, one fifty of two hundred. It's clearly not one fifty BPM. How fucking fast is it? You know. Yeah. <laughs> Bless you. Ooh. Yeah, man, this uh, traditional Bach is really good. (laughs) Yo, speaking of drinking, I'm going to get a water real quick. (laughs) There you go.
Yo, I'm back. So, Yo, do you want to see what I have so far? Hell yeah, man. Yeah, I'm just chilling, uh, rolling up blunts for whenever Hannah gets off. So, yeah, Sick. man. Let me pop this puppy open. All right, I'm in. So, yeah, I literally only have until, like, fucking, where is it, 30 seconds in. And I don't even have my second pad at once. But this is pretty much all I have so far. And for for me, I started with, like, just getting the kicks, the snares, and the hats that I wanted. But, like, that took a couple of attempts. And then I went to my pad, pad 2. It's, it's the same instrument. But what I did do that I thought was kind of cool, I'm not sure if you can see, like, my different stuff. So I have, like, all my synths that I'm using right now. Yeah. And then I have, you know, all my percussion that I'm using here, which is just a bunch of different stuff. But, like, it's all just being used in, like... So for my kicks, it's really weird how it looks for me because I'm like, I'm only using one thing. I'm so used to have it. If I'm using like a pattern or something or I'm making a pattern, I'm using it for a pattern's purpose. So I'm using multiple things to layer together. Yeah. I, that's the only time I ever use something like this for FL, which is kind of interesting. But here's what I have so far. Oh, oh, wrong side. Wait. <laughs> I, I just got to that point where I was messing around with the trumpet. Yeah, and so that I've just, horn is real nice, dude. Dude, honestly, Flex with FL Studios is insane. I'll pull it up. I haven't even edited it. It's just, you know, the basic <laughs> trumpet sustain sound. Yeah, dude. I, I, I'm hella one of those guys. I mean, I, I like sound designing to a point, but a lot of times I'm just looking for... Uh, for, for a preset and then I'm post processing after that. Oh know? yeah, dude. I haven't even started the post processing part, dude. Like Well, you know, it's kinda like the uh you know, the thirty minute challenge. Empty. It's like you know, no one really had a full track. No, I wasn't expecting that than uh, thirty minutes. Yeah. But you know, I think it's it's cool to use this idea because it kinda I don't know. I mean, it kind of takes the pressure off of like, how's this track going to look and more puts it on like just full on samples, sample selection. I mean, yeah, obviously your kick and snare are huge and drum and bass. Like, you know, you can't have a snare that's just like a dubstep snare and, and all that jazz. Like, mm -hmm. so it's, I definitely am a little more uh, cognizant of like what drums I pick whenever it comes to drum and bass or house. I mean, I don't know, man, you, you've made a lot of house in the past. Like, it's very it's particular, mixed, yeah. It's mixed differently, you know? Like, very, when yeah. I made that first house tune, I was like, bro, I cannot just, like, squash the fuck out of the sub on this. <laughs> like, no, you can't. <laughs> oh, it was such an eye-opener. I was like, oh, okay. But thankfully, I had Rat Riley to work with, man. That guy makes some pretty good house music, too. Yeah, dude, I, I, dude your collabs are fucking sick. Well, you know, it helps to have really talented friends like yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, man, have you dove into uh, the As Is and Friends playlist this month, dude? I honestly haven't looked at it because I just started school this week, so I've been uh, kind of preoccupied with that. But I, I've yeah. made sure to, like, repost and be like, hey, make sure you check this out. Because I, I saw that uh, he included uh, Cosmic Diner and uh, my song that I requested, which was Alphabet Soup. So I was hyped about that. Yeah, man, there's some freaking heaters in there. I forget, uh, forget whose it was exactly, but someone's got like some like future bass, almost future rhythm sounding tune. It's fucking fire in there. Like, goddamn, sick. Yeah, it's crazy how how talented all of our friend group is, dude. Yeah, literally every time I feel like I'm in this group chat or in this Discord, I'm always like, dude, my homies are so fucking talented. 
I was literally talking with Scott about that on uh, on Saturday after we we all played. I was like, like, dude, we're all so fucking talented. He's like, I know, right? And I was like, yeah, it's really nice that like there's not that one friend in the group, you know, who you're always having to carry and like Call of Duty and shit. Yeah, it's like it's like we don't really have that issue. Like all our friends are fucking talented as shit. Like yeah, it's insane, bro. Yeah. Oh. I'm really curious though because for my template that it has it literally has the same exact kick pattern like it's the same kicks except for like five spots (laughs) so yours actually showed up with midi patterns in there no no no. i had to make the midi patterns myself but like with all the patterns it's just saying kick one kick one kick kick one all in order Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And it's like a single bar loop that's just repeated for the kicks. And same thing with the snares, except there's more variation with the snares than the kicks. Or is is there? No, dude, there's like no va- <laughs> there's like no variation. Oh my god, I need to fix, like put more into my kicks, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and that's my thing. Like, I mean, I, I haven't even really looked at drop two, because like, why the fuck would I at this Dude, point? I haven't even looked at my drop one, bro. <laughs> Yeah, the bass looks sick though. I'm excited for that, and detune stab, that's sick. But like, I'm looking at this uh, at this kick thing, you know, and it's like, mine's kind of going with that like, um, I don't know, like the song structure. It's, I I struggle with uh, changing up my drum patterns in a way that keeps them fresh and not going overboard. <laughs> I'm back. Yo, hey, welcome back. Up? All right, but, let me uh, see what you're working on. here. Oh, I was just showing how far I got in mine. So, yeah, I only made it into, like, 30 seconds. But, like, the structure that I did was I I tried to, like, make my notes sound like they're the right notes first. So I was figuring all that out while I was also trying to make sure my kick pattern was, you know, good. Because I'm so used to working with audio that I, I, I was a little, you know, thrown off, I think, what Carp said originally with uh the midi patterns for everything yeah like even the percussion. So, this was what i wanted to talk about before i had to run up there was um this brings up a really interesting idea about how each one of us produces so some people will put more work into the eight bar loop and then stretch it out pull and add and use only certain elements at certain times and do the composition later but pulling everything from that eight bar loop yep that's kind of what the I other do. side of it yeah the other side of it is like composing as you go through and there's just a really interesting conversation as far as what the benefits and downsides are of each one because like i can tell you for sure like putting time down on a track is pretty easy for me because i compose as i produce but making sure that every part of it sounds cohesive is a lot harder for me sometimes because Mm. not every sound is played together for me to hear them yeah i'm already doing this composition so when you have the eight bar loop everything lines up you know all your elements are going to sound good together but composition might take you a little longer yeah dude my, my biggest thing is like with a lot of these things it has um different automation patterns that it wants me to do like right here if you're looking at my stream it says like automation high pass drums i haven't even done effects in general like mixing or anything with anything i've just been you know trying to figure out what to do and how to line it up i feel like the automation channel that it gave me was like just like it was three things so i was like i'm gonna do my own automation overall i'm gonna delete this because it is literally just an automation channel yeah, like, straight up I did that, Libby. That was the first thing I did was go, well, that's fucking useless and got rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't need that. See you later. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, though, man. I mean, I, I feel like I used to play around with that a lot more. I, I kind of, now that I've started using Granulator a lot and resampling a lot, I've 
that's how I start most of my tracks actually is, uh, I find some samples I like, and I just start with some long recording sessions, like, you know, two, three minute long recordings of me just fucking around in granulator. And then I use those to kind of build the track. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean like in the old day, you know, back when I was still carpet art, uh, I don't know, man. It was, it was always a struggle to be like, okay, do I, do I write the bass line first? Do I write the drums first? Like, you know, if I write the drums first, are they going to get too stale or is the bass not going to work with the drums when I add them in? I mean, that's all, it's such a subjective thing, you know? Yeah, that's true. It, it, intelligence is knowing you can start any of them first. Wisdom is knowing which one you should start first. Right. Right. Because as you learn about yourself over time, you start to realize, like, oh, yeah, I work really well from this perspective. Yeah. All I right. also still kind of do that a bit. I mean, like, my more melodic tunes, I don't even write a mid-bass line until I've written the melody. Um, but when I feel like being angry, then I usually just add melody in after. So I, I still kind of do that uh, to a point, but not as extreme as it when I was still learning. I get you. I feel that. All right. Well, <clears throat> are we going to share our tracks right now, or are we going to wait until the next half hour is done? I'm down to wait till the next half hour is done, honestly. All right. I don't. I don't have enough to even share at this point. So. I've got some respaces to write. So. Okay. So I'm starting another thirty minute timer. Starting. All right. Are you guys ready? Yes, yes sir. Okay. Starting now.
make that pad and then have this pad right here.
I mean, honestly, not too bad.
It is time. How's everyone doing? I'm doing good. I'm just getting this last Tom fill in. I'm good. Do you want to do another 30 minutes and then show off after? Or do you guys want to do it now? I'm down to do it now. Okay. All right. Any volunteers to go first? I mean, I can go first. I can be honest and say that I, I did a lot. I got a lot more done. Um, I got like the first part of my drop done. There's still a shit ton left. Hell yeah. Let me share my screen. Right. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. I did like one thing of automation. That's all I've done so far. I still have not mixed whatsoever, but here yeah, it is. A little bit. I want to smoke. Just What's an EQ for this? what i had so far god damn very that was, nice that's that's going on a journey right there dude honestly the one thing i'm kind of upset about is that i make my build-ups entirely different from just you know by regular like kicks and snares and there's literally nothing here for a build-up not even a riser or anything so the drop kind of just came really abrupt to me but i was like fuck it we're in it <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely – some of this stuff is hard to work around because of our inherent styles and stuff. Yeah, of course. And, like, that's pretty much the main reason why I haven't done any, like, white noise risers. Like, I've done – I have one reverse cymbal crash for, like, my FX samples, and then everything else is just, like, reverbs and shit. But, like, mm. it's interesting when you're trying to work around – not having a designated area for something. Yeah, of course. That makes yeah, sense. I'm really with you, Tito, because I don't, I don't really like the build in my template. <laughs> so, like, obviously, if this is something I end up continuing and then releasing, I'm gonna change the fuck out of that. Because, yeah, it's like ambience and some chimes. That's all you need before a drop, right? And then, like, the <laughs> drop doesn't even, the drop it even has like two bars without any kick so it's like all right if i'm gonna do this kind of like fake out drop shit there at least has to be some tension you know yeah of course oh yeah so I'm I, with you. Uh, it sounded good uh, though i choose kodiak to go next oh let's go let's go all right give me just a sec i gotta, I gotta switch over to my laptop on the discord call so one okay. sec if libby's ready he can go uh first then i heard wait oh is he back already? That was quick. That was so quick. But like one thing I will say about this is that while doing it in this way, I see the potential in this already just from working on it. Like doing it this way, I can think in my head, I'm like, okay, I see where this is going. I can, like, if I had more time, I can definitely, like, put more effects in 
automate everything and make it sound really nice and I can make it sound something that I would make, which I really appreciate. So I think it's yeah, a it's sure. a really cool tool to get a project started. So that way you can get an idea of what you want to do. Well, and I think that that's another very interesting point is by limiting what you have at the beginning, it really points out what you like about your tracks, what you want to make sure is in there every time. And like, this is just, this is going to be a point for like, you know, our own self analysis, but like kind of just think about what we're saying we wish we had in these tracks right now. Yeah, exactly. Because those we can kind of like think of, those are our like signatures when we know like, okay, we have all these elements, but it needs this. Exactly. That's where our style comes in and has to override the template. All right. Kodiak, you ready? I think it's still working on it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to continue to smoke this bowl. <laughs> Do it up. I mean, after this is done, I'm definitely going to save... I'm saving the project right now, and I'm definitely going to continue working on this because I, I definitely see some potential in this. Oh, 100%. Same here. But I'm going to control shift S. I'm going to save it as a new file so I can always look back at the original template and maybe do it again in like a year from the original template. Oh, True. Unless I had saved at some point along the way. Way in which case it's kind of half fucked. No, a serious program error has occurred. Oh no. And I am going to group my stuff together really quick. Because that always bugs the crap out of me when I can't shrink everything down by minimizing groups. There. But it's kind of cool too, because like by doing it the way I did, funny enough, a lot of the track is pretty much already finished. <laughs> mm -hmm. To an extent. Yeah. It's really the variation in composition you get out of stretching out that, what you've already put in there, you know? Yeah, exactly. And doing it so difficult for me to do still because I get, like, caught up and I start to, like, instead of just muting it, I'm like, I'll just move it to the side. And then I keep moving things over and over. And Yeah. I feel that 100%. Oh, Kodiak. a serious Kodiak error has occurred. Real error 404 bear not found. <laughs> God. Oh, he's there back. He <laughs> so I can try all I want. Uh, I don't think I don't think my shit's going to work. Really? Dude, I, I was literally, like, yelling at you guys, like, hello, and it, it was not popping up at all that it was even getting audio from me, like... And if you I want, you can always, it. uh, you can always export it, and we can listen to it that way if you want. Yeah, that that's what I'm gonna have to do, man, because, uh... That's fine, God dude. damn, dude. I, Discord is literally, honestly, like, my computer's trash, which is the first problem. Fair. The second problem is I probably have the worst internet that humankind has ever had to deal with, ever. Damn. Um... Yeah, it's really bad. I mean, I'm talking like 12 megabits a second bad. Fuck, dude. Damn. 
that's like pioneers old west internet speed that's what i'm i might as well have fucking dial up dude it's insane <laughs> so uh all right so yeah i'm actually gonna be fucking calling century link to be like yo how the fuck can i get out of this contract with fucking comcast like save me please save me shot yeah. speed sir but yeah i'm exporting right now just oh my god man yeah all right i, I guess libby can go then <laughs> yeah i got mine ready here libby to to i don't have groups. comcast you stupid bitch i have century link but dude, I, I have, have comcast i know the struggle dude all right okay here i'm ready go. everybody ready yes sir Grammy as fuck, by the way. Holy shit. Thank you. That's sick. It should, dude. Thank you. Yeah, some of the vocals definitely need some work. But, but they they still sounded like they kind of fit though, which is pretty cool. Thank you. This this I can waste sense. more time in vocal processing than uh, anywhere else, Libby. Yeah. I might end up just like chopping up that one and then throwing like a shitload of reverb on it. Really Dude, I, I could see this going in so many different directions, honestly. Thank you. Like, I like how it's kind of like a trappy, like, drum and bass beat, though. Like, I really, I, I fuck with that, dude. 
it always ends up coming through just a little bit, just a little bit of the trap vibe. A lot of times it's in the hats for me. Yeah, I, th- like, I, th- I was just going to say, it sounds like it's more like the perk, like the hats and the highs of the percussion, at least. Yeah, thank you. I definitely like that vibe a lot, so I go towards it a lot, but yeah. Uh, is yours ready, Kodiak? Yes. Yeah, let's go. What is it, uh... Is it Beats Channel with the rhythm fuck? Yeah. yeah. And it's just exclamation point p- play. Got it. Yeah, I really like that uh, that clap sample you used as well, Libby. Thank you. Drum and bassy. <laughs> I mean, like, we could totally stop it now. It's probably going to just go for the rim there, but... I, I, we can just mute it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I normally do. Yo, but that was pretty right. sick, though. Holy... So, that, you those, know, the, those my faces issue... were insane, dude. Yeah, that, I liked the... And that's the thing. Like, I, I like how the drop structure of that template looks. Um, especially the way that it kind of, like, leads into section of drop one um i really like that but yeah the problem with the intro is like all the variation in their intro is in this like vox and sfx channel and i just uh i just didn't get to that part of it i was just too focused on shit that's all good dude it still sounded sick yeah Yeah, it's i mean it's a fun it's been a fun little challenge that's for sure yeah dude Dude, i I think that this was definitely an interesting experience I'm glad that it worked for such a short notice thing. Oh yeah, like great way to make a quick on the go challenge. Um, Kodiak, I was like out in space with that intro, like it was all vibes and like chilling, and then you hit it with the drop, and it's like you like went from space right down into like the warehouse rave <laughs> with the fucking like crazy DMB like techno feel to it, like. That was so fucking sick, dude. Thank you, man. Shout out DMVU for those mid bass samples. <laughs> that man's got Dope. some. Yeah, he's 
I like his style a lot because it feels like he takes a lot of like the old style like basses and stuff, but like puts them with new mastering, new drums, you know, new new song arrangements, you know. Mm-hmm. I really fuck with that shit. That's why I like you and uh, Spinny's track so much. It's like old school dubstep, but it doesn't go on for six minutes and you're not tired of it by the end. True. <laughs> I appreciate that a lot. That mean that means a lot. Thank you. Oh, dude. Yeah, and the way you fucking transitioned into your VIP during your set this, <laughs> bro. Uh, God. That was that was a really fun set to do, and well, I'm really looking forward to the next like fucking next fucking show that we all get to do together like that because those are so fucking fun oh dude that that whole like all the homies were in that show which was fucking sick. that whole night both of them they were all fucking amazing nobody Honestly, put yeah. that bad set it was fucking lit it was such a good time well on that note it's getting kind of late for me and i have to be up for class in the morning early so i'm gonna call it tonight you're an East Coaster, bro. Yeah. Or, yeah, it's pretty but late over there. I will catch you guys around. It was really fun doing this tonight. Yeah. Definitely yeah, can't. Ho- hopefully Wednesday. more people are. Yeah, hopefully more people are here for next week's. But I'm glad, like, we we're still able to do it. Which yeah. is some of the homies. It was dope. I'm really glad we got to do this. I'm, I'm definitely going to keep working I'm... on this for a little bit. Oh, I'm that, dude, both of you shows. should work on yours, oh, definitely. Okay. Well, and it's like, I've done two of these, and both times I've done drum and bass, so, you know, it's a sign, man. Dude, are you becoming a DMB artist now? <laughs> oh my god. 2021 is the year Dude, of DMB. you're not a DMB artist until you remix one of Pendulum songs, though. Let's be real. You're right, so, you're right. So, you need to, I guess, smack me upside the head, because I don't know who Pendulum is. Bro. I, I know. Before you go to bed, listen to The <laughs> Island Part 2 Dawn by Pendulum. You said Island Part 2? The Island Part 2. Like, there, it's two parts in the same album. There's Dawn and Dusk. Ah. Or th- th- something like that. But Part 2, I believe, is they're like the same, but they're two different moods. If that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's like Subsidia, right? Dusk, Dawn. Uh, kind of, except they're just songs. Let me just make sure. Uh, yeah, let me the see. I'm on this page now. Oh, yeah, part one, Don. Wait, you know Knife Party, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is their band. Their, like, live band that they have that does d oh, Yeah. Highly recommend it. Pendulum. The oh, yeah, because look at this. I see... I see, uh... Knife Party retweeting Pendulum. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the vocalist for Pendulum is Rob Swire from Knife Party, funny enough. Wow. That guy's voice is my favorite voice of all time. He has an inc- like, I don't know what he does to his voice, but it's insane. Because he's just some regular Australian dude, and then, like, he gets on the mic and he sounds like a god. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty fucking incredible listening to them do their thing. Dude, I want to see them live before I die. So oh, bad. Definitely on my list. And dude, I was I was so upset because March 13th, I was going to go see fucking Pendulum Live at the Belgium, uh, what's it called? Uh, Rampage Festival last mm-hmm. year. And then it got canceled because Rona. Oof. Oof. Big rip there, brother. And it was yeah, also part of, like, Noisy's, like, farewell tour. Oh. Uh, that's rough, man. So. I mean, then, it's the like, same thing, like, with, like, all the old heads, too. I mean, my dad was going to go see fucking Neil Young. You know, who knows how fucking long that guy's going to still be oh, alive. Oh, true, still, dude. Still touring, and then they had to cancel because of COVID. And it's just like, fuck, dude, who knows if he'll even do one again. Like Exactly. It's rough. But. Hopefully, in the future, we'll all be able to play these shows in real life Ooh, instead of yeah. just virtual. And that'd be sick to have all the homies there. Dude, <laughs> so fucking lit. Be insane. 
fucking uh what did what did dashi's dad say right like fucking oh yeah festival at his place <laughs> dashi fest dude party at their house <laughs> i'm down so down but yeah, i'm gonna head out see you guys right, later have a, good night. Have a great night guys the idea for this week tito it was really yeah fun. dude I'm, I'm glad it worked out all right peace guys so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna listen to the one more time before i close this and upload it to youtube but i definitely ought to work on this more i'll say because i see the potential in it you know i mean I, i'm not the biggest fan of using boxes like that so it's new also like i want to be able to mix stuff and i just wasn't enough time was fun i'll uh hopefully you'll see another video from me soon similar to this similar to this being another music production challenge anyway i hope you guys have a great rest of your day peace